Hello everyone, Corey Walker, Hilltop RV Superstore. This is the new 2011 Surveyor Select Ecolite Edition. Um, double slide, full depth slide, lightweight. And we're going to do a little walk around, kind of give you an idea uh, what options it has. This is a nice, neat, finished throughway storage at the very front of the trailer. It does have the uh, electric stabilizer jacks underneath. There's four of them, all electric. The switches are independent of each, located right at the top of the actual storage compartment here. And I'll show you as we move along here, the other ones. Has an electric awning by A&E. Two marine grade speakers on the outside that are working with the actual stereo in the, uh, in the unit. And the aluminum rims nice upgrade the radial tires and the all-famous outside kitchenette and this right here is really a, a, a popular feature uh, right now it works in conjunction with the awning as you can tell it's got the lid that comes up and over but you got a Danby refrigerator it's a three cubic foot refrigerator um, with the freezer compartment as you can tell there's a lot of storage options here a lot of storage availability. There's a 110 outlet right there. That's where it plugs in. Right there. And there's drawers. Your quick disconnect LP because it does have an RV grill that comes right out. And then, of course, it'll open up. And I'm going to kind of just stand back here and let you get a, a view of that. And again, as you saw, it does just slide right in there. There's an outside shower and sink right here there's the nozzle and there's your hot and cold fixtures now this is a, a real cool feature when you're cooking um, you're gonna be able to wash stuff and kinda keep a neat little kitchen here this is the rubber made attachment system it's got uh, little cabin little cargo um, storage options that just hang on it and there's other options you can get with this rubber made you ever go to Menards or anything like that they have this actual system there and you can buy attachments. This is pretty cool. You can hang stuff up. It does have the flush mount lighting up top. There's three lights all the way across. And there's your uh, LP gas connection right there. That's a quick disconnect if you do hook up. And then there's another one right there. So there's two of them that you can utilize. Um, for hooking up external LP fired or propane fired systems, turkey cookers, etc. This right here is your other jack button for your electric rear jacks. There is no cranking on this coach whatsoever. And this is the external 30 amp service uh, plug. Now instead of tucking in the cord into a to a wall, it's an external cord you carry out and plug in and you're done. And this is made by Marinco. This is the same application they use in the marine industry. Um, which is huge because it's a very reputable company and it is very waterproof and easy to, uh, to uh, use. It's a 30 amp service plug. This is the rear bunk slide and again you can tell it's a full depth slide out. When I say that, that means that there are shallower slide outs that are about half the distance here as you'll notice um, and don't give you quite as much room inside the trailer. Being a full slide it's the typical depth of a slide out that you would find on a Montana or any other major fifth wheel out there. And that's a nice feature to have because you certainly want that room. This is your sewer tank flusher. And what that does is you hook up your garden hose here and it flushes the black tank, which is specifically dedicated towards your toilet. Over time, they can become. Uh, clogged up and they need to be cleaned and flushed and just kind of freshened up. So that's that feature right there. This is your uh, external uh, furnace exhaust and this is your refrigerator panel access and of course your six gallon hot water that does have an electric option which means when you plug it in you'll have the electric feature and of course primitive campers you got the direct spark ignition uh, which is a propane fired system. Here's your fresh water fill for your tank. You're holding about 45 gallons of fresh water and uh, the all famous entrance handle. This makes life a little bit easier getting in and out of the camper. And this trailer weighs 7688 
That's 7,688 pounds. And uh, you could tow it with three quarter ton or better. Uh, there are some half tons now that are pulling 10,000 pounds. You do want to check your tow ratings to make sure that you're within the specifications. This right here is the uh, entertainment center right off the bat. You're walking in. It's a DVD player and a full swing out TV. Now the TV is actually one that'll turn 360 degrees. You've got two pocket doors in your bedroom that are gonna close off. And this will allow for you to turn the TV into the bedroom. And then you're just left with the mirror into the, li into the living area. So we're gonna kinda peek in the bedroom. And this is your uh, Queen Island bed. It's gonna allow you to both parties to get in and access their side of the bed without having to crawl over each other. And then again, there's the left pocket door there, and then your right pocket door here, which I'm going to close. And then you'll see that you got your TV in the bedroom. Really a nice, nice feature to have. This is your wardrobe on the left side, gives you an idea, an idea of how deep it is. You can get a full hanger in there, they've measured. Uh, so if you've got clothes, shirts, etc. that you're hanging up, uh, the hanger will fit and you can hang up quite a bit of clothes. This is a table that comes with a coach. It's an external uh, portable table. You're going to be able to carry it outside and utilize it underneath the awning. Um, it's a cool little feature. It's going to add a little bit of optional outside uh, storage when you're cooking and things like that set it underneath the awning and you're right in business. So as we walk in, we're, we're kind of just coming in through the door here. You can see your kitchenette right there with your high-rise faucet and sink. That's a 60-40 sink. And then just to the left of the door is the command center. Nice and neat and organized. Shut it right off. And there's your cork board. You can pin up little notes and your keys. Hang them up right here. It's real discreet. And then open it up and there's your central lighting, your electric awning, and your two slide switches. So that's a real nice, neat, neat feature. This is nice in the fact that they, they've hit it. Um, little kids can't tamper with it. This is a bunkhouse, so therefore you're going to have children who may want to push those buttons. We all know about that. So close it off. Out of sight, out of mind. So we're going to just kind of scoot into your kitchen. Notice how they jutted out the, uh, the kitchen countertop. Um, they could have just ran it parallel along the line here. Um, but they chose to jut it out. It does take up a little space in the living area, but it's got two cool additional features or benefits. One, you can get a couple breakfast stools right here, and you can have a little breakfast nook right there. You can tell there's depth there, so you can actually set that up. Two, it gives you some workspace. Uh, you've got some counter space here that you can actually make a sandwich, fix a lunch, actually function like a true kitchen. Um, there's your microwave and your overhead storage, and uh, it is all lit and ducted. You do have the range vent that ducts outside, and a 15-inch oven right there with a range top. When you open this up, you're going to see three elements. Two in the back, these two right here, are 5,000 BTU, and the front is 9,000 BTU. Uh, this is if you're going to boil water for, say, corn on the cob or whatever. Uh, you're going to be able to cook a little bit quicker, get a little bit hotter and faster. So, um, nice little feature. This right here is your spark. Now, a lot of them don't necessarily come with a sparker. Uh, I call it a sparker, but basically when you turn on your gas, you're going to be able to light your stove immediately and not have to get the clicker and try to light it up. So, that's a, a nice little feature to have. This is your uh, six cubic foot refrigerator. Um, and then there's all your pantry and storage and... Actually, yeah, that's an adjustable pantry storage. This right here is going to lift up, and you can kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but there's little uh, locks in there. You can put it on different levels, and that's going to allow you to get cereal boxes in or taller items. This is drawers. Again, simple storage. Um, this does have a water filtration system. That's actually the filter that's going to be installed. And there's your external 30 amp service cord, some uh, audio visual cords for your DVD entertainment center, and uh, uh, a garden hose that does hook up outside. And um, that's just things that this is a brand new coach, just has not been installed yet. So getting back to the main layout, this is probably the, one of the bigger attractive features on the coach. They did a huge sectional on here, 
And, uh, and they also implemented the overhead storage, which we're not seeing nowadays on newer models. They've tend to gotten away with it. Um, one reason is you get the dinette booth right here typically, and they did, they're now putting into much longer windows, which takes away this upper storage option because the window takes up that area. So this is a great feature to see on the newer models. Um, it does have drawers that slide out right there. It's integrated in the sectional. And there's a built-in ottoman right there. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to pull out this table as we're going along here. And yes, that's a drawer, actually. And this is an air hide-a-bed right in the middle. And um, what this is going to do, although this has a ton of sleeping options, this is just going to give you another sleeping option for the trailer. So that, that's a really cool little feature. Um, trying to see if we got storage underneath here and we'll see it yeah this is the ottoman we were just talking about so i'm going to back up here and give you a shot of that i actually opened that up a little half moon front and slid this out and now i've got an ottoman and there's more than likely some this will flip up i'm going to set the camera here so i can demo this this is going to flip right out and turn over. Now I'm going to show you what that looks like. So now you can tell that little slide out ottoman. That's pretty cool. I really like that. And you could utilize that in the back bedroom, which we're going to get to next. I'm going to shut that back up. So, pretty cool feature. Now, the other one we're going to look at is the table. And I'm going to kind of set this right here. And hopefully you're going to be able to see this, but there's a lock mechanism right here that's going to release, and the table goes right down in position. And what this will do is leave you the option of potentially using this outside. It's locked in the down position, and then you can simply grab it. And there's another release, but it'll come right back up into the locked up position. And you probably heard it lock. So very cool feature. The other additional option and benefit to this system is this table can go anywhere. If you're sitting over there watching TV, uh, the table can be placed right there. So moving right along, we're going to get to the main bath. It's a private stall, toilet, sink, shower, and cabinet, medicine cabinet, all in one. It's got a full tub, which again is a great feature to have and the frosted skylight which brings a lot of natural daylight there is heat and air conditioning in here and it does have the power vent up top for when you take it a shower it gets all steamy you can power vent it out and there's your toilet paper holder integrated right in the lower storage underneath the sink and some more storage right there monitor panel and a 110 outlet um, right there And now the exciting part. This is the back bunk house, and they got real creative this year um, for the surveyor. If you look up, you'll look overhead. Now that's a bunk that comes down, just 90 degrees down. And this is an air hide bed sofa right there with a lower drawer compartment. That bottom drawer opens up, and then you'll have uh, option of storing sheets, blankets, pillows, whatever you may need to stow. And here is the, the storage in the back bedroom. It is a half wardrobe. You can see the, the hanging bar right there. And another drawer right down below. And uh, these are all plumbing access points, by the way, right there. If they ever need to be attended to. Waste basket integrated right in their storage again. And this is an entertainment center. If the kids want to play video games or whatever, you're all rigged up. You can set it up for them on a rainy day. Uh, integrated ladder right here and a hamper. This right here is just going to come right out. And then boom, you can get right up the top bunk and you got your clothes hamper right there. No more dirty clothes on the floor. Um, over top, nice, wide, rugged bunk. Anyone can sleep up there. And again, twin ducts in the ceiling, a lot of lights. It's even got its own little speaker dedicated to the back. So you can hear the radio. Fabric shades in the back window. These are all day-night fabric shades. 
Uh, you're seeing the day night, actually the day shade. You pull this down and you can tell you have the option of having the darkening shade for privacy. And there are windows. And this is the big emergency exit window here. And again, this bunk, if I can get to it, just comes right down. And this is the mattress. And uh, there's your overhead bunk. So, a lot of sleeping possibilities. You're looking at one, potentially two here, because this is an air hide bed It's like a full mattress. Uh, so you're looking at potentially three, four bunks here. And then you've got another two right here on that air hide bed in the, in the living area. That's uh, another two. And then, of course, the Queen Island bed up front, which sleeps two as well. So, a lot of sleeping possibilities on this floor plan. And this is a brand new floor plan this year, the 305 for the surveyor line. And we're going to walk back outside. Do one last overlook. And it, again, it is the SV305, the Ecolite edition. And there's that storage again. And underneath, we'll peek. And you'll see that it's got the heated and closed underbelly, too. Now, this is a, a double benefit, too, because this will tow a lot easier by not having the exposed framework underneath catching the wind. It's more streamlined and aerodynamic. Um, and also, in much colder weather, you're going to have um, more warm floors, um, and you're not going to have to worry about plumbing freezing if you are one of those fall campers. It does add better R value to the coach as well, and it's not just for heat. It's for air conditioning as well. The air conditioning retention, how long your air conditioner actually runs um, when it's really hot weather out. So again, this is the brand new 2011 Surveyor Select Ecolite Edition SV305. Corey Walker, Hilltop RV. Thank you guys.